back families thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your first time my name is mamri and you are very welcome this video is about captain thomas sakara may he so rest in peace the tribute continue up to today and it will continue throughout the month by the way throughout africa people are paying tribute especially in the south niger they also pay their tribute in a different way i will show a bit of that video but i haven't translated yet anyway yesterday i was having a real feeling i don't know how to explain it since i wake up i'll be planning for his video for some time but i didn't do it and then yesterday i was having this feeling that i couldn't shake off the feeling is president ibrahim Traoré should not come out yesterday and i was like everything he's doing is like he's following his footsteps so why will we not come out and then my spirit is telling me he shouldn't come out yesterday yes i was waiting for him waiting for him i share a video about the minister i didn't see him till late last night i saw a video about him and i said thank god thank god he didn't come out it was just a message a tribute that he paid i said thank god and then family member left a comment i'll put it on the screen that just it just confirmed the feeling i was having yesterday anyway the video is long i put varieties of tributes together please listen i'll be back thank you for your time 37 years since the hopes of an entire people were dashed by murderous bullets captain thomas sankara is 12 of his companions killed by a commando on this day, the president of FASO pays tribute to a great visionary. Today, October 15, the people of Burkina Faso remember the cowardly and despicable assassination of President Captain Thomas Sankara, father of the People's Democratic Revolution of August 4, 83 and 12 of his companions, on this day marking the 37th anniversary of this tragic event. I would like to pay tribute to this great visionary, whose integrity, patriotism and unwavering commitment to a dignified, free and sovereign Burkina Faso have left an indelible mark on the history of our nation. His struggle and his vision remain a landmark that guides our actions and fuels our commitment and determination to reclaim our national territory. And the construction of a Burkina of peace, security, prosperity and progress for all Burkinabe. And this is a message from His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré, President, Du Faso and Head of State. It was a bloody October 15th at the Conseil de l'Entente in Ouagadougou when Thomas Sankara was coldly assassinated along with twelve of his companions. The father of the revolution was gone, leaving me posterity. A good dose of courage, ideals to be developed, an opening up of the field of possibilities. In short, a great legacy to value. On a commemorative holiday, the nation pays tribute to his struggle. His vision and actions are saluted in the memorial square. Pots de gerbe and speeches punctuated the moment. The nation pays tribute to a denier. Son, a hero, Captain Isidore Newell Thomas Sankara, assassinated with 12 of his companions on the very spot where the ceremony is being held. It was Thursday afternoon, October 15, 1987. The vision and actions of the father of the August 83 revolution are still very much alive today. We pay tribute to a symbol of resistance against Western imperialism and its many local valleys. It is now 37 years since this emblematic figure of Pan-Africanism left this world. Despite the official and unofficial strategies and stratagems orchestrated to methodically erase his memory and history, it's clear that Sankara's vision and ideals still resonate powerfully around the world, and his legacy remains an inexhaustible source of inspiration for us all. Indeed, the man we lost on October 15, 1904-27 made a lasting impression. Thomas Sankara was not just a leader, he was a visionary. He was arriving from a free African continent where people could flourish unhindered. 
His struggle for the autonomy and development of our country, Burkina Faso, his commitment in various fields in general and to women's rights in particular, and his audacity in challenging the structures established to keep us in colonial dependence, make him an indisputable hero. 86. We paid tribute to Thomas Sankara in Gawa. The school where he attended, in addition to the clothes on the wall. The building is adorned with portraits and quotations of Thomas Sankara. We're following in his footsteps at elementary school level, so we'll be doing something there. The aim is to provide a reference point for the present and future generations. The Kawa Thomas Sankara tribute includes a roundabout at the monument to the African Che Guevara in the center of town. The square is equipped with electrified gates, and Paris also features portraits and a citation. And these actions are part of the second phase of the days of patriotic commitment and citizen participation. We wanted to take advantage of this springboard to invite all our fellow citizens to persevere in their patriotic commitment. All these works are financed by a private individual who loves both Thomas Sankara and Captain IBM Traoré. The donor wants to remain in the shadows. We're going to thank the authorities first of all, create an initiative to do this and the person who also took away his money is really doing this for you. We thank him a lot and we can also say that God only has to give him back what he took away in it. And we're really proud of that, because even without grace, he first loved Gawa, and really spent his childhood here, too, in which he pays tribute to the Commune of Examined, a project to rename the Center Adugawa School in the name of Thomas Sankara. Families, you listen to all the tributes, the school in particular. I'm so glad they are doing that in the schools, sharing information, history, because many attacks they don't show or teach our history. They will teach a lot of history that we don't even know or recognize the people. And you know what Niger is doing, if you do not understand the video I'm about to share with you, or the video I'll put on the screen. What they are saying is they are moving some of the, the statues and the names on the street that those people, the colonizers, has left behind. They are moving all and they are putting the names of people that means something to them. That's what they are doing. So yes, the statue you saw, they've moved the other things from there. And also somebody has paid on that street. I mean, you listen to it all. I'm going to share another interesting one with you. A lady that left America, a young lady, and now lives in Burkina Faso. Why? Because of Captain President Thomas Sakara. And she wants to stay there and honor him. Do everything, everything she can about him. Reading the subtitle, I didn't understand it to her, but after I've translated, I said, oh no. It was Africa Stream. Africa Stream. Yes, that's the name. That was their channel. Please listen, I'll be back. Thank you so much, family. In her own way, she decided to recognize and perpetuate the memory of Thomas Sankara. Born in the United States but of African descent, Ms. Richardson decided to return to the land of her ancestors to lead the fight for a dignified and free Africa. She has been living in Burkina for three years and is now co-founder of the Thomas Sankara Center. He doesn't deserve his name, Richardson. Born in California in the United States of America, he is of African descent. In her early 20s, Ilnem, as she calls herself, is a Pan-African at heart. For her, there's a heritage here to preserve. I was inspired and continue to be inspired by the legacy of Thomas Sankara and the struggles being waged by the people of Burkina Faso. I came here because I saw that Burkina Faso had the potential to be the cradle of Pan-Africanism, which is the struggle for the liberation of African women throughout the world. My love for Africa, the land of my ancestors, strengthens my determination to fight for a freer and more dignified Africa. Along with Gwen Lassida and Wilfred Sampori, she co-founded the Thomas Sankara Center for African Liberation and Unity three years ago. She has had several opportunities all over the world, but when faced with all these opportunities, she chose instead. Dedication? 
Center Thomas Sankara in the library. While some of her brothers and sisters are fighting for their lives and making their way to Europe or the United States, she has decided to leave all the comforts of home to devote herself to the struggle. A pan-Africanist for three years, he and his comrades initiated and stepped up the training of young people. Such is the case here of these pioneers in the school of ideological and political training. In this center, for example, nearly 400 Pan-African books are available to readers. She is the locomotive pulling the St. Thomas Sankara in its three years of operation. We're really a model of a fire that works, of a movement that works, because somewhere, her experience, her commitment and her address book are also at our disposal to help things move forward. Richardson is a journalist by profession, the medium to which she belongs. Africaine Stream strives to show its target audience the realities and, above all, the commitment of the countries of the Alliance of Sahel States to true independence. An editorial line with serious consequences for this medium. They tried to wipe out all our media on social networks. We had 2.5, 1 million followers across social networks. We were chased off Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all these channels because of our message of solidarity and the truth we're sharing. And with the English-speaking world on the other hand, situations that do nothing to dampen IM's resolve. On the contrary, this episode not only strengthened her resolve to continue the struggle, but also confirmed her belief in the right path to take. That of dignity, the voice of freedom, the fight for sovereignty, with African unity in her sights. On Thank you so much, families, for your time. The video is long. I will leave you here. God bless you all. Credit to RTB News. For me, I've taken two things from this video or more. In this world, we have to be good because whatever we leave or left behind, it is what people remember of us. So if we do good, it will be there. We do bad, it will, it will be there. Most importantly, those leaders because for me who knows me nobody knows me but those leaders that are leading today and are watching what is going on in the south and having changed is up to them because the name that we have given them that will be the name that their great great children will come and meet they should think about that before they they treat their people like they are not human beings they should change. So one day they are great, great grandchildren or their children will be proud when somebody mentioned their name. I think I'm making sense here because it would be sad for somebody to see me and say, oh, your daddy was a horrible man. No, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear my dad was a good man. Be proud of myself or be proud of him. I will leave you here, family. Thank you. God bless you. It's late already. We meet again tomorrow by the grace of God. Thank you.